Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews, and we're looking at SmackDown Live. There's only two weeks to Fast Lane, six weeks to WrestleMania, and now we're looking to see if the storylines are aiming completely at Fast Lane, or is everything now completely focusing on to WrestleMania? Let's find out. We kicked off the show with John Cena, and it was no surprise after last night he went from Raw to SmackDown to get another opportunity to go to WrestleMania. Uh, he came out of the ring, the crowd went mental for a while, Boo there was booze, there were cheers. Obviously, it's the same John Cena reaction, but to be honest, it looked really, really full at the arena, so it looked like John Cena's presence just being there increased the audience attendance for SmackDown Live, which was good to see. Um, he pretty much stated that he wants an opportunity at Fastlane and why not turn the Fatal Five Way into a six pack challenge. Obviously, this called out Shane O'Mac and Daniel Bryan and they both agreed that, that you know, Big John Cena is the type of guy they would love to have in their main event but this is the land of opportunity and you have to earn your opportunities. So Daniel Bryan made the match, the main event match, AJ Styles taking on John Cena. John looks a little bit like, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen, but he's happy to take the challenge so he can get a chance to go to WrestleMania. This meant where we got our first match of the night, which was going to be Baron Corbin taking on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens on commentating. Uh, this, to be honest, was a decent match. Both guys had a good performance. It wasn't anything special, but it definitely was a good match to watch just to kick off the show with. Uh, Kevin Owens' commentating skills are absolutely one of the best. Uh, he's funny to watch and listen to on the commentating team. And him and Barry and Saxon just absolutely just don't like each other and you can just feel the anger every time Byron, you know, Byron Saxon opened his mouth. Uh, it was also funny where every time Baron Corbin looked at Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens was like, why are you looking at me, you idiot? Sammy's in the ring, he's your opponent. And that was quite good as well. The match itself, decent match. Sami Zayn looked very, very aggressive, which you do want to see on your heel, Sami Zayn now. And it did work out. Uh, the big turn and twist, which I thought was a good little twist, was uh, Dolph Ziggler comes out from the crowd, kicks Kevin Owens in the back of the head. That distracts Sami Zayn. Sami's like, why is Kevin in the on the floor? Baron Corbin, end of days, gets the pain for. Baron celebrating. Zigzag out. Dolph Ziggler's looking on top on all three competitors before Fastlane and I thought that's really smart booking and it means that Kevin's not getting involved in the match which I think did work out better for the storyline itself. We had uh, Naomi with Charlotte and Becky Lynch in her corner taking on the right, well Ruby Riot with Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan in her corner. And to be honest, I think this is probably the better match we've seen Ruby Riot go for. And to be honest, I think Naomi's the perfect competitor for Ruby Riot. Personally, that's just my only opinion, but I think Naomi's at that level where she's high, she's a high enough competitor for her to take on, but she's not at the Becky Lynch, Charlotte level of pinning. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a decent match. Naomi looked really, really good in the ring, and Ruby Riot looked very, very more stable in the ring than she has done in previous matches. Uh, obviously, Ruby Riot got the win, they want to give her some momentum before she takes Charlotte on at fast lane for the women's title. But I think this is a, you know, it's a, it's a smart move to do. Put her against someone like Naomi, who is a former world champion herself. And I think that's it just works out. Uh, the match itself, like I said, it wasn't anything special, but it did highlight about Ruby Wright. When she, when she is given that opportunity, she can have a good match. And it shows she had a good match last night. Next up, we had the New Day and the Usos cutting probably one of the best promos I've seen in some time on SmackDown Live. And it was pretty much the New Day come out and they do their usual New Day stuff. And then the Usos come out and pretty much say, look, no matter what happened, we've always come out on top against you guys. 
and it rekindled their rivalry really, really well. The, the big thing for the Usos right now is it's near WrestleMania and we've never had a WrestleMania match. We've always been either, we've always been sidelined. Every time it comes to WrestleMania, we've been sidelines. And you could tell there was a little bit of truth in there. Like, and the New Day were like, look, the reason why we've never been sidelined for WrestleMania is because we pushed the competition out of the way. And it was that really aggressive attitude between both tag teams. And it looked like they were about to attack each other. Um, it looks like the mutual respect between each other has ended until after their match. But my God, the aggressiveness and anger towards each other was really well done. And then the Bludgeon Bros coming out, they literally interrupted the promo got in the middle of a ring with the hammers and both teams backed off and I can definitely see the Bludgeon Brothers getting involved at Fastlane in some way but for our promo work itself it was really really impressive from both teams. Next up we had Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Aiden English with Rusev in his corner and the first things first Rusev Day is so over, it's unbelievable. Aiden English was trying to sing, and yet everyone was chanting Rusev Day. Rusev had to calm the crowd down, which is great. Uh, and then you had Nakamura. The, Na the fans were so split between Nakamura and Aiden English. And for me, this was smart booking decision, because one, we haven't seen Nakamura in some weeks in the ring. And two, it's the best type of opponents for Nakamura. One, Aiden English is a good mid-card heel. And two, it just allows Nakamura to show he is a talented wrestler and it allows him to build up some momentum towards WrestleMania when he, whoever he takes on for the WWE title. Uh, Aiden English as well got, for me, upped his stock in the company with a, you know, a decent performance. It wasn't a great match, it was just a decent match. But because he had a decent match against someone like Nakamura, that does obviously up his stock in the mid card division in my opinion and this is what they need to do they need to up the stock on the mid card guys by having them they don't have to win but if they have a decent match they can definitely up the stock in the company and fans will be more invested to watch them later on and i think that definitely happened last night with aiden english nakamura got the win but after his win he was interrupted by who else but john cena and both men pointed to the Wrestlemania side. Now that was rather interesting and it pushed us on to our main event itself. For our main event we did have AJ Styles taking on John Cena. Now like I said earlier on in the video, if Big John wins, he will go into the main event at Fastlane and turn it into a six pack challenge. Now for me, I thought this match was a very different type of match we've ever seen from AJ versus Cena. Reason is, AJ wasn't the most aggressive one. Usually when it's the two of them, AJ's aggressive and Cena's usually more defensive. This time around, it was the other way around. John Cena was a lot more aggressive and AJ was on more of a defensive style than we've seen. And it worked. It definitely worked. Uh, it was a decent match. It's probably one of the better main events we've seen on SmackDown in some time. And what do you expect? AJ Styles versus John Cena have been classic matches in my opinion and this one wasn't as good as what they got in the Royal Rumble but my god it was close enough to be you know what I'd say like a three star match three four star match it was definitely worth watching uh, AJ definitely trying to counter a lot more to it John Cena's more aggressive style at one point John's knocked out on the ground AJ stops the referee from counting him out because he wants to pin him it, it just shows you the, the, the mutual and a rivalry these two have over each other. It was it was a decent match. Obviously, Big John got the win to put him into the main event for Fastlane. But I can't take anything away from AJ. It was definitely a different type of match than we expect from him. But it definitely worked in his favour. Uh, and then after the match, we did have the rest of the members of the, you know, what the final lot of the fast lane main event come out and attack both John and AJ Styles with both Baron Corbin, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn attacking them both at first. Dolph Ziggler comes out, knocks them all out of the ring to save AJ and Cena. It looks like he's there to help him. He's turned face. Nope, he attacks AJ. John does an AA on him 
and that ends the show. But for me, it was definitely an it was definitely a good main event, and it was a predictable ending where you knew that everyone was going to come out afterwards. But I can't complain too much. Much better main event than what we've been having lately. And then there you go, guys. That is SmackDown for this week. How was it? Slightly better than what we've been getting in, you know, matches and in promos. I definitely think this is a, a slight improvement. Uh, I think the in induction of uh, John Cena into the Fastline pay-per-view definitely makes it a little bit more watchable. And you'll probably get a little bit more fans watching it than they were going to anyway. Uh, for me personally, I'm... I'm on the fence with this one. I think it's good to have John back on SmackDown Live, but does he deserve to be on the main event? Of course not. I thought he was going to challenge Nakamura for his uh, Royal Rumble spot, but we'll have to wait and see. What did you guys think of SmackDown this week? Did you think it was a good show? Did you think it was a bad show? Leave it in the comments below. If you do like our videos, please like and subscribe. You, we will have some videos floating about just here. Click on them, try them out, see what you think. And if you do want to follow me on the old Twitter, I'm at Boise88. And I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews.